So we have here a problem, number 23. Suppose a triangle is plotted on a coordinate plane with vertices located at negative 9, 3, 13, negative 1, and negative 3, negative 9. So we will use the distance formula that is given with this formula. Now let's solve for the distance, the side of this triangle, this part of a side. So we have here negative 9 minus negative 13 and negative a 3 minus negative 1. Quantity squared of both and you add them. So we will have these values and that is square root of 500 which can be written as 100 times 5 or simply 10 times square root of 5. Next, let's solve the other side. So for this side, we will use negative 9 minus negative 3. You can interchange them. Just be consistent who are your x1 and y1 and who are your x2 and y2. So for this one, we have these values. So this will be positive. 3 minus negative 9 will be positive. So we have 12. And then squared, squared, 36 plus 144. And that is 180 or simply 9 times 4 times 5. We have a square root of 9, that's 3. And we have a square root of 4, that's 2. So we will have 6 square root of 5. So the last side naman, we have the distance of 13 minus negative 3, quantity squared, and negative 1 plus negative 1 minus negative 9, quantity squared. And if you add that, that would be 16. 16 squared plus... I will be positive, 8 squared. And this will give us three, 320, uh, two fi 256 plus 64, or simply 320. Square root of 320. And that is 64 times 2. You can factor out that with 64 times 5, I mean. So that will result to 8 square root of 5. Now, we are asked we, for the perimeter. Perimeter is adding all the sides. So we just add all the values of the sides. 10 square root of 5, the 6 square root of 5, and lastly, the 8 square root of 5. And if you add that, you will have letter A. And that is 24 square root of 5. Letter A.